Cubis is designed to work with the near spec and mirror instruments on JWST, but will visualize any data cubes from integral field units or IFUs. In this demo, I will be showing how to slice through the spectral axis of a Manga data cube, how to do a Gaussian smooth over the spatial axis, how to collapse cubes along one of its axes, how to create and display contour maps, and how to get the flux weighted centroid using a moment map. This is one of the JD Avis configurations that use multiple viewers. These viewers can be resized, like so. There are three image viewers at the top, in this case showing the flux, inverse variance, and mask of the cube. These viewers can also be used to show any 2D image, which I will be showing shortly. There is also one SpecVis viewer on the bottom, which is populated by default by collapsing the spatial axes using the max function. At the top of the UI, there is a slider that can be used to scrub through the cube in the, spec in the spectral dimension. On the right side of the UI, there is a plugin bar. We'll go through the Cubis plugins starting with Gaussian Smooth. We will select the flux data and smooth type spatial and a standard deviation of two. And we'll click apply. Once we get a green pop up on the bottom, we can go to our data drop down and select our smooth data. And we can examine that. Next, we will look at the collapse plugin. This plugin collapses a spectral cube along any one axis, x, y, or wavelength, to create a 2D image. For this example, we will select the zeroth axis and the sum method for collapse. And again, we will click apply. Now, I will use the 2D image that has been created to show how contours can be utilized. We will go to our data dropdown and select the collapse data. You can see in this image viewer, we have uh, the two images overlaid on top of each other, and we can control these in the layer tab. So we will select the second data that was added, and that will be the uh, second layer. We can turn on the contours and turn off the bitmap, and now we have the contours overlaid on the flux of the data at this slice. Finally, we will go over how to create and visualize moment maps. I will, I will start in a fresh instance of CubeViz in order to use a continuum subtracted data cube, which will be helpful for demoing this plugin. Before I actually use the plugin, though, I will select uh, or highlight a spectral region that interests me. So we will look at this region here, which is the H alpha region. And we will select it. And now we can select the spectral region we just created and create a moment of one. I will resize the viewers once again, just to get a better view of this. And there you go. We can select the moment. We can then go into the layer options. And here we can uh, adjust the visualization and pick a different color map, adjust opacity, contrast, bias, stretch, and do that until we get exactly what we're looking for.